The creator, protector and destructor of all living things in this world are the Trimurtis, Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu and Lord Maheshwara. Lord Vishnu, taking the avatar of Sri Rama, worship Lord Maheshwara in the form of Linga. As Sri Rama himself installed this Linga and worshipped Lord Shiva, this place was called as Rameshwaram. Later on, this holy place came to be called as Rameshwaram. Lankeshwaran, a devoted worshipper of Lord Shiva, with a sinful wish on Sita, abducts Sita, Lord Rama's wife, to Sri Lanka. Sri Rama, along with his army, while on the way to Sri Lanka, stop by at a particular place to take rest. That exact place is called as Uppu. Lord Sri Rama, Lakshmana, and Hanuman along with their army, pray to Lord Vinayaka, the first and foremost god. Sri Rama installed the idol of Lord Vinayaka under the open sun. That is why this Vinayaka is called as Uppu Vinayaka and Vail Uganda Vinayaka. Patinam. Devi Patinam, sea water flowing, Navapashan tank. It is the beginning of Setu Samutra. Pashanam means a stone. Prior to the great war against Lankeshwaran and before building a bridge over Setu Samudra, Sri Rama prays to Lord Vinayaka and Lord Muruga. Sri Rama installed Navagrahas on the seashore of this place at an auspicious time in order to get the support and blessings of Navagrahas. Devi Patnam, a divine place wherein Sri Rama and his army had prayed to the Navagrahas. At the same time, Lord Rama stops the tideful gushing out seawater by pointing out his hand towards the sea and calm the sea. This is the reason for which Lord Vishnu nearby is named as Kadal Adaita Perumal. After seeking the blessings of Navagrahas at Devi Patinam, Sri Rama comes to the shores of Setu to reach Sri Lanka by sea. Hence, along the shores of Setu, the Lord goes to Tirupulani. Knowing that it is not possible for them to cross the sea without the permission of Lord Samudra Raja, who was seated on the Dabaipul, a holy grass in the Ananta Sayana posture. Lord Rama starts to meditate by sitting on the Dabai pole. 
being touched by Sri Rama's meditation. Samudra Raja appears before him and said, A person called Neelan from your army, once during his childhood, used to throw away the kamandalas of the rishis into the river. He was cursed by a rishi for his misdeed, which was that whatever thing Neelan throws into the water will only float and it will not submerge in water. Neelan has come to this war as one of the member in your army. Make use of his peculiar quality and start to build a bridge over the Sedu Samudra. Saying this, Samudra Raja departs from the place. It is through this bridge that Sri Rama, Lakshmana, Hanuman and the entire army goes to Sri Lanka and defeats Lanka's king Ravana. Sri Rama then crowned Vibhishana as Sri Lanka's king. Then after, Sri Rama and Sita together come along in a Pushpak Vimana, a divine plane to a place at one part of Rameshwaram which was called as Agnitita. Sitting by the shore of Agnitita, Rama, as told by Rishi Agatya, asks Hanuman to bring a linga to worship Lord Shiva in order to wash away the sin of Brahmahati.